Hello and welcome back friends. I am Deepak and you are watching Linux Kings. Friends, today I have bring a new tutorial for you. In this tutorial, I will explain you how we can configure assets on the Cisco router with the privilege permission to users. So friends, as we know that uh, SSH stands for the secure cell and uh, it uses the encrypted protocol for the data transmission. So today in this video, we will understand the concept of SSH with privilege permission to users. So let's start without wasting time. So I will open here my Cisco packet tracer here as you can see on the screen. So now I will take a router that is PT router and uh, I will take a switch as well. And then I will take three PC client. These client will SSH on the router. Okay. Now here, here there are three PC clients. Next I will connect these old devices with each other. And here you will see that I have connected router to the switch and this PC to the switches. So I have made a topology in which I have taken a router, a switch and 3 PC client for the SSH. Now next we will make some basic settings or basic configuration on router and then to PC client we will provide the IP to this PC. So we have to type here no. Okay. Now we will enable the router and we will go to the global configuration mode and here first to the interface f is 0 slash 0 I will provide the IP so here I am providing the IP of class A and the host IP is 1.0.0.1 and the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 okay and I will type the no set command so that uh, the interface first ethernet 0 slash 0 will be enabled now we will exit from this interface mode and now we will uh, do some basic setting so first i will provide here the host name to my router so my host name i will set linux kings okay and now i will set a domain name for the ssh so that it will help in the uh, rsa key generation so we will type here ip domain iPhone name and the domain name which you want to create I am typing here linuxkings.com and next we have to enable the security for the router as well uh, before entering to privilege mode so for that we have to type enable secret and ccna okay now we will set to the ssh version 2 okay because we are gonna to use ssh version 2 for this so version 2 here it is saying that please create RSA keys for SSH version 2. If you want to access the SSH version 2 you have to create the RSA keys. Now it's time to create the RSA key. So here we will type crypto key generation uh, sorry generate and RSA okay. Now here it is saying that uh, it has the by default 5 to 12 bits to bits for the rsa key and now here we will set 1024 you can do maximum as you can and next what we have to do as you can see we have generated the rsa key next to this we will set the maximum number of attempts and the timeout for the user so for that we have to type here ip ssh and authentication retries it means the maximum number of attempts that a user can do so here i will set the maximum number three and then the timeout for which after maximum number of attempting the user will have to wait okay so for that we have to type here ssh and then time out and here you have to type this time in the second i am typing here 60 seconds for this and then next we have to add some users with the privilege permissions so here I am adding a an user that will be my Linux Kings. Okay, and then I am providing the privilege. And then here you can see that the maximum privilege level, how much you can set here. You can set from 0 to 15. So to this Linux Kings, I am providing 15 level. Okay, and then to this, you have to type the secret and then the password which you want to keep for this user okay and here you can see i have 
keep the password for linux king the same the linux king okay next enter you can create one more user and i am creating here another user that is deepak and its password could be same i am not giving the privilege level to this user and now we have done with this and next what we have to do now we have to create the uh, vty terminal okay so for that we have to type vty line 0 space 4 sorry i have written the wrong here so first we will type here line and then vty okay vty and enter now here we will type transport input ssh okay and the next we will add the privilege level of the user level 15 and after doing this we will type here login local so that only users with having password can login okay if you will simply type here login then you have to provide a separate password for the users that will login by having the password only they don't need the username and then now we will exit from here so now we have made all the changes that we need okay now we will get exit from here and we will write this configuration so now it's time to log in or check the ssh from our pc client so but before this we have to provide the static ip because we haven't provided the ip to this pc client so here i will keep 1.0.0.2 and then and the default gateway 1.0.0.1 okay so close this and with the second pc i will do the same go to the desktop and ip configuration and here ip3 and default gateway same and cross this and the last pc go to the desktop ip configuration and then provide the ip that will be 4 and the default gateway okay now we have done with this and um, now it's time to check or verify the ssh on router so now we will go to the pc3 okay and from pc3 we will check the ssh so for that you have to go to command prompt okay and now you will simply type ssh hyphen l hyphen l for login and here type the name of user linux kings and the ip of your router that is 1.0.0.1 okay and enter now it is asking for the password so i will provide the password of the linux king i think the password was same okay enter now we are on the router as you can see and here we can do anything that we do normally on the router here i will show you my running config as you can see here it is the password that i enabled on router privilege mode okay so here you can see the all settings of the router running in the uh, check the running configuration and here you can see i type here secret and that is because the password are encrypted and here we have two options secret and another is password we can directly type password here okay so if you type secret then it keeps the encrypted password here now we hit enter you will check the domain name and timeout and ssh version as well ip interface for the fast ethernet and so on you can check all the configuration that we have done on router so friends this was the video on ssh how we can configure the ssh with the providing privilege permission to the user so friends if you like this video please share with your friend and also hit the like and please comment below if you have suggestion for the linux kings and if you are new on this channel please subscribe linux kings so friends see you in the next video till then stay safe bye bye